Hey babies, how are you? It's Miss Margaret. It's time for music class. You hear the piano in the background? That's a song called Claire de Lune. I thought it'd be nice to have something soothing while we get ready for music class. So I'm gonna play a video and then I'll be back and we'll start our class. I'm glad to see you today. I hope everyone in your family is doing well. I'll be back. talked about that music is a language just like learning Spanish or learning French or learning Italian music is its own language notes are the way that you read music notes are the alphabets of music the ABC I should say so in order to read music you have to know the musical alphabet but you also have to understand what it's written on a lot of you will probably remember this because we went over it in class last year, but I thought we should start from the very beginning. You've been talking, we've been talking about notes and rest, and you've been doing great with that. But this is about the basic, what notes are written on. Notes are written on lines and spaces. So this is called the staff. The lines and spaces are called the staffs. S-T-A-F-F, -F, staff. There are five lines. One, two, three, four, five. And there are four spaces. One, two, three, four. All of these lines and all of these spaces have an alphabet added to it. We're not gonna do that today. I just want you to remember the staff is what music is written on. So when you see this, the treble clef, which you know what that is, we already talked about the treble clef, you know that this is a musical staff. That treble clef note lets you know that this is for music. And when you see that there's five lines, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and that there are four spaces, one, two, three, four, then you know there's gonna be some music coming, okay? I'm gonna show you a short video that explains it even more. This is a music staff. It has five lines and four spaces. Make sure you always count from the bottom to the top. Now let's put the numbers on the lines. Line one, line two, line three, line four, line five. Now the spaces. Space one, space two, space three, space four. And that is the music staff. This is a treble clef, and this is a bass clef. The treble clef is used for high instruments and voices, and the bass clef is used for low instruments and voices. Now, let's talk about how to draw a treble clef. First, we need our music staff. Step one, we draw a long J. Step two, we draw a sort of backwards S. 
Step three, we circle back around. When you circle back around, make sure you hit line three. Drawing a bass clef is obviously much easier. Begin by wrapping around line four, coming up and over and ending down below line two. Lastly, add a dot in space three and space four. And that's the treble clef and the bass clef. All right, scholars, I know you got it. What I want you to do at home is to practice drawing a staff, treble clefs, and bass clefs. The video that you just saw showed you how to do it, and I want you to practice on a piece of paper. Remember, always count from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. That's five lines, and right in the middle, four spaces. And I want you to draw and practice drawing treble clefs. Remember, it has to curl around the second line, and I'll explain that to you in the next lesson of why that has to be, to make it correct. And just draw as many treble clefs, you can use your crayons, you can use markers, you can use anything that you want. As many as you want, just practice until you can draw it as quickly as I can and make yours look even better than mine look. Then, when you do about five or six treble clefs, I want you to do, and you saw I did that wrong. I'm supposed to go from the bottom to the top. I want you to do bass clef. So draw a bass clef. Remember, you have to put the two dots in, and they go on the one, two, three, fourth line. And put as many in as you can. Draw about five. It's very easy to draw. And when you do that, show that to your parents. And tell your parents that was your homework for music. Okay? Lines and spaces. Five lines. Four spaces. Treble clef and bass clef. You got it. Wait for this next video. You're going to like it. Guys, my name is Ryan, and this is Smart Kid Universe. It's February, so you know what that means. It's Black History Month. Let's talk about some important people. Number one is Malcolm X. Malcolm X was an African-American nationalist and civil rights activist. When Malcolm X was born, his name was Malcolm Little. But he learned that his last name was a slave name, and he changed his name to X. Malcolm's actions and speeches were mostly inspired by the nation of Islam. Later on, he left the nation of Islam. He continued to fight for the rights of black people. Malcolm X is known for saying, we want freedom by any means necessary. Number two is Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman was born into slavery in 1820, and she escaped slavery in 1849. Harriet helped many other slaves become free. She worked with the Underground Railroad, which had hidden routes and homes to help slaves reach freedom. Number three is Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a civil rights activist. He led nonviolent protests to fight for the rights of African Americans. MLK is famous for his I Have a Dream speech. And he even has his own holiday, which is the third Monday of January. Number four is Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks was born in 1913 in Alabama. When she was growing up, her city was segregated. That means that white people and black people have to do different stuff and go to different places. When Rosa rode the bus, the bus driver tried to make her give her seat to a white person. Rosa refused. Rosa did not get out of her seat. This led to the Montgomery bus boycott. And eventually, black people got their rights. Number five is Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali was the first boxer to win the heavyweight title three times. He also won an Olympic gold medal. No matter how famous Ali was, he always fought for what's right. Well, that's it, guys. This was Smart Kid Universe Black History Facts. And I want to thank you all for watching. Do you guys remember that when I started with my um, teaching this year, I said I would teach you black history facts as well as music because of what's going on in our country with Black Lives Matter. That we as black people need to learn as much as we can 
about ourselves. So I hope you liked that last video. And I hope you learned something about Muhammad Ali. He won a gold medal at the Olympics. Did you know that? And Malcolm X, his name was Malcolm Little, and he changed it when he became a Muslim. So those were some black history facts. Some of them you probably already know. But as we go on, I'm going to try to find things that you probably never even heard of before. All right. This is the end of our video lesson. And I'm going to show you one more fun video, which I always do. I'm so glad that you guys tuned in. I hope you learned something today. Remember, if you have any questions, tell your parents just to send me an email and I'll be glad to answer it. I love you and I hope I get a chance to see you soon. Be safe and be healthy. Bye-bye.